Hello everyone, welcome to part 104 of Laravel Land series in which we are creating the multi-vendor e-commerce website. So we will continue working on the shopping cart module once again and in this video we are going to delete the shopping cart products via Ajax. Okay, so we have seen the, in the earlier videos we able to update the cart uh, items via Ajax and now we are going to update uh, that cart, we are going to delete the cart item via Ajax. Okay. So here is the one uh, product is already added to our card. We are going to add one more product straight away so that uh, we can able to uh, check this one. Add to card here. Okay. So now there are two items and if we want to remove one item, if the user want to remove one item, then we want that the page will not refresh and this item will get removed and it will show only the blue item with the uh, will the updater totals okay updater shopping cart total uh, subtotal and get total okay and also uh, see uh, once we remove we will add one check here uh, that uh, that the user actually wants to remove this card item or not or this uh, button uh, click by mistake okay we will add the check like want to delete this card item then question mark okay like this one so okay so let's start now first of all we are going to add the class to this one uh, to this uh, button to this delete button so that uh, we can run the jquery function okay on the click of this class so that thing we are going to do initially so uh, i'm going to open that card items where we are showing the all items in for each loop and here see one button we have already disabled that refresh button but one button is still there that we require this is the trash button okay and here we will add one class delete card item it is same like update card item now we are doing the delete card item okay so uh, one uh, we are also required to pass the data card item card id okay whatever is the card id we are going to send up here okay this one we can copy from this one where we are also sending we can though we can complete copy this one okay we will keep it same data card id this is required to remove that card id okay we are going to remove that card id it means that we are going to remove that card id okay so you can check in cards table see if the user uh, don't want some specific product he will going to remove this card id okay it will remove the car uh, that product from the shopping cart okay so now uh, see on the basis of this delete card item we are going to uh, add its jquery function in custom.js in the same way like we have done the uh, that uh, update card uh, item okay uh, so i think i opened the wrong custom.js we need to open the custom.js of the front not for the admin okay this one because it is small so that's why i know okay so like it is it will uh, it is same like update card item now uh, it's the delete card item okay so i can copy this one it will help me to save the time okay and i can do it like this this one i can remove okay now you can see we have the empty now here i will write delete card item okay see how quickly we can do these things it will save our lot of our time to do everything again and again okay so now uh, the card id we are sending variable card id okay and this one is coming from our uh, form dollar this we will pick this one data card id okay so first of all we are going to check this one this one is actually coming or not after that we will move further okay so we can keep it same as well okay that will uh, help us now first of all we are going to check whether once we click on delete uh, okay so it is not running uh, nothing is happening so uh, we can check uh, if there is any issue uh, okay we can check here no issue is coming we are going to inspect delete card item is there and on the basis of this delete card item uh, 
we have added this one and make sure that we have added at the right place here it is added at the right place as well and make sure that we have saved the file because i am not able to find any issue with the code I'm going to try once again let's see yeah this time it is working fine i think i have not saved the file now it is showing the 9 id okay and it is showing the 10 id okay so it is working fine card id is going fine okay so straight away we are going to write the ajax script here no more data is required okay so we are going to write the ajax script now okay so first thing is we require the headers that we can copy from here okay to prevent the csrf token and now uh, we require the data in data just the card id is required and after this uh, data uh, we require the url that we are going to make and url uh, we will make the identical type of url uh, that uh, we need to consider the uh, those uh, see here what url here oh, card update so I am going to copy this one <coughs> because I will uh, make it something like a similar like card lead this time okay so this is the part of the naming conventions if you have not seen the naming convention then uh, search for it in my series uh, I have somewhere explained I have a separate video on the naming convention in which I have clearly mentioned that the function names variable names the standards of Laravel okay everything uh, I have given there so we need to follow even if we will not follow uh, the website uh, will not create any kind of issues but uh, it is good to uh, to maintain the standards because if any other developer is going to see your code okay then uh, that person uh, will like your code okay so that are the few of the standards that we need to take care of okay so that uh, once you will go for any interview uh, that interviewer uh, uh, it will make good impression on the interviewer okay not only on the interviewer on everyone on any on your juniors seniors okay uh, your uh, uh, your idols okay your teachers okay uh, means it will make the good impression if you will write the good code okay good standard okay so and also for your own satisfaction as well and after uh, like i always say after few months you never remember what you have written so if you will uh, uh, take uh, those consider those naming convention and uh, will uh, that uh, will use that then it will help you in future as well okay so it is it, it is having so many benefits uh, to follow those naming conventions so uh, after url uh, we will make it uh, type post once again okay type post and after that success and error function in the same way like we have done earlier we can simply copy this one there is no changes in this one so we can simply copy this one okay so uh, i don't think it is required if it is required then uh, we will add this one uh, but i don't think it is required set so this time we just require this one okay so now we are going to create uh, the route uh, for deleting the card item okay so we are going to create this route after update card item quantity now delete card item delete card item update delete here card delete fine and now we are going to create one function Flux controller front in the same way like we have the uh, card update now card lead okay so that function we are going to add here okay so we are going to add public function card lead okay so here we are going to add request dollar request is 
and here again we need to do those things like uh, if dollar request we are in ajax okay the data is coming in ajax then we are going to get the data first of all we are going to debug whether the car id is coming here or not after that we will move further it is always good to debug your code side by side okay dollar data die let's see now so we are going to check now let's see click on delete uh, card id 9 okay so now it is fine now we can move this one and we can simply remove the item from the cards table okay where id is uh, matching with this dollar data card id okay and lead done okay so uh, once again uh, we require uh, those same things uh, where it is card update okay this one uh, that will require response and get card items this one okay so we are going to copy this one it will help to save the time get card items we are going to refresh the card items and will send there in response okay and status uh, is not required because uh, this one is straight away task delete and then it is not required view string uh, you so it seems to be fine uh, okay now uh, we can test it let's see i'm going to delete one of the item now with two i uh, two quantity let's delete it see it is gone away straight away and you can see the shopping cart instantly updated and uh, you can see the 1000 rupees product is only left that product is gone away and it shows the updater totals okay so one more check we are going to add like i have shown like i have told you earlier that once the user clicks on the delete icon delete button then we are going to show the check that the user actually wants to delete it or not okay so like something like are you sure to delete this car item like something some check like this so for that some minor changes we are required to add this check straight away okay though we can also add the sweet alert check that we have done earlier for our admin panel but that will take uh, some time maybe one more video we need to add for that but we don't have that much time so we will add the quick check in our jquery code itself okay that uh, thing you can do uh, as well with any of your jquery script where the check is required uh because if sometime we don't have the time then this is the quick fix okay so uh what we can do we simply add the check after uh, this one after the card add term we can simply add the check here uh, like we will take one variable result and in that uh, we are going to add confirm confirm okay like we uh, like the user uh, we are going to send message to the user to confirm want to delete this card item or we can update the message like are you sure are you sure to delete this card item okay it looks perfect so if the user clicks on ok or yes then if the result is coming see if the user clicks on no okay something like this if cancel i think cancel will come there if user clicks on cancel or no then it will not come then this condition if result condition will not work otherwise if the user clicks on yes then it will take it further inside this if result okay so it will only come if the user clicks on yes then we are going to execute this ajax otherwise we are not going to do anything let's see it will work or not this, this is just a one minute of task let's see 
if it will help okay so we are going to check now i am going to delete this card item but uh, i am going to, i want to add one more item so that uh, there is some items remain in cart that will look more uh, more fine okay that will look fine uh, better that will look better okay so add to cart i have added the one more one more i want to add three items we can keep at the card fine now we can check in card view card now see three items are there okay this middle one i want to remove okay so i am going to click on delete it is asking are you sure to delete uh, are you sure to delete this card item no i am not sure i don't want to delete i click on cancel see nothing happen the card remains the same no change at all now if once again if i click on delete and uh, this time i want to delete the card item exa exactly i want i want to delete this card item so this is a kind of the message that the admin conveys to the user that the website conveys to the user then maybe the user clicks on this delete button by mistake so if it is not mistake then you can click on uh, this ok button you can confirm you can confirm that you actually want to delete this card item okay so in this case i want to confirm yes i want to delete so i'm quickly clicking on okay now you can see that product gone away straight away from the database as well and the uh, all the calculations updater we recalculate the uh, subtotal as well as the grand total as well okay here also so 810 plus 1000 it is 1810 and subtotal and grand total is showing the correct amount okay so you can do this one at your end now from the next video we will start working on the user customer login register user login register with the default auth with the web auth okay so that we can move further and the user can able to purchase the products okay and we can able to reach the checkout page as well and we'll try to integrate the payment methods as well not try we are going to integrate the payment methods along with the cod okay but before that also we are going to apply the coupon code so many things still we want to do and the vendor will get its order as well in his panel and the he will also uh, the uh, going to pay some fees to the admin so many things we are still left with that we are going to do okay so uh, so if you have not subscribed the channel then please i request you to subscribe the channel okay uh, that is you already know please subscribe to my channel youtube.com stack developers youtube.com stack developers this is the channel name uh, please subscribe if, if you have not subscribed yet to get all the updates on time uh, okay so uh, there are cheat sheets as well some uh, some the quick fixes as well i'm going to give you uh, now in the near future that will help you at the time of interviews or in your job as well okay so that you can uh, implement to uh, to get the result more faster so you can join the channel as well to get the code to get the 100 videos code okay and uh, more code uh, that we are going to do in the upcoming videos that you can get along with many other uh, uh, websites that we have done so far okay so you, you can join the channel as well okay so uh, that's all for now have a nice time goodbye